Hello guys, this is Andy from Monkey Visual and in this video I'm just gonna give you a quick overview if we got if you got the the project file for the set that I just uploaded. You probably got this when you open it. Uh only you need to go is to window and then go to levels you see here and you'll get this tab and just stick on the eye and that's it. Just in case you got that black stuff, okay? Good. So basically, this set has uh, these screens that are mapped. In these screens, you can have a content share between all them, and uh, and each one can have its own content as well. So let's suppose, for the example, as you saw in the video that I said the zoom grid. Uh, let's suppose. Let me just go to my level to make it active. So double click on that because to. To anything I add to the level will be will have effect on it. So let me just drag this simple TV mesh. It's just a simple mesh, right? There we go. You see it? It's just a mesh. It has two material slots. So I know that the element zero is for the back. No, it's a black stuff will be, and the one is for the screen. So if I click on this box, you see here. Oh, let me just delete this. I got you got six right then I'm going to add another one so I'm just adding the screen right the first thing you need to pick is the screen this should be a static mesh actor so I mean any mesh that you drop in the scene okay so let me just pick this one. Oh, there we go so as you see I got the screen material but in the back I need to tell it that I want this in this lot one because that's the that's the slot for for this so i'm going to go back here you see on this matte slot you put one there you go now i'm just gonna pick my tv and restart this material because i don't need it there you go now i got the screen so i can go ahead and tell hey you see you got a texture and b texture this is for like a fading effect Texture can be like, you know, texture from media players, NDIs, whatever you want. So, in this case, I'm going to use an example texture I have. Like, where is it? Texture, I'm just going to open this media player. I'm going to see it. It's showing in a three. This media player gives me this texture. So, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop it in the B texture. I want it to be the B. The A texture is the one shown by default. I'm going to take this one. And as you see, I got this. There we go. Now, if we got some parameters here, we're gonna watch them now. Uh, okay, so we got A B te texture swap. In this case, if you move this value, should be between zero and one is to fade between them. So zero to one. Good. And let me just put in one. Good. Now I got this grid. So what if I want this to be like just like have one of them. So I got this value. So the first, so we got the position that we can like, you know, move it. Let me just reset it. But I, we got the zoom here. Let me just zoom in. We're gonna focus on this one. Let's just zoom in. You know, the less you add, the more zoom you, you add, okay? The, the less is the value. So now we're gonna move, we can move it. Let's just go over here. Just try to put the the one that you focus on the corner, so then you zoom. Good. Now, in case that you have like this, like space, and you want to stretch, it's just optional. You got stretch values here. You can, you know, reduce or increase it. You know, reducing the value will stretch it. Increasing will like make it smaller. So it's all up to you guys. So good. Now I got now I have this screen so I can I don't know like oh go back to my screen manager because this is the one that controls the screen and I can now fade it. See I'm sorry between zero and one. So now I got basic stuff because if you if you go here, let me just go to screen four. You see that if I fade it, I'll get this. So let me just open QuickBP to show you. Okay, now I'm gonna hit, let me just hit play here, hit OP, good. You see, I got like fade single screen and fade all screen. This will fade to 
I mean, this will fight all the screens to its B value, as you can see there. So I got some cameras, I got a basic talent, there we go. So, face single screen is by ID. So, for you know that, let me just show you. This have, like, in screens data, you, you see that we got from zero to seven. So you need to put a value there. So if, let me hit play. Let me just go back to the camera one. I'm gonna fade a screen uh, seven. That was the, the latest we, we created. Let's fade it. Now you see it. Let me just duplicate this. I want to fade the screen three. Now you see it. Now let me duplicate this. I want to fade this big one, which is the number six. And there you go. This is so far the how the screens work here, guys. Okay, and I hope you like it. And if you want to go deep with the material, I mean the material for the screens and make your own tweaks, and you just double click on double click on that, you know, open this blueprint, and then you got this variable which is base material. You see, you open it. And then you got the material there, so you can play with it because these values. Sorry, I forgot to tell. These values only work with the B texture because I need it that way. So, but you can basically just duplicate them and apply them to A texture as well. It's up to you guys. All right, guys. Um, sorry for that. Before I go, and I'm, I'm just going to show you that I forgot to mention this that this billboard we got here, they're just simple materials instances. Because they have these textures, like you, you click on it, you get the material there. If I click on it and you double click on that, you see that we got here a video content parameter that you can get from. If I click here, you will see the, tex the textures there. So basically, these are the textures that I use this at this size. This was the resolution used for that. And also this one, which are basically the same. So this is all for this. I hope you like the video and I hope you get I hope you like the the set. Thank you so much for the support for the support if you already got it and have a nice day.